Yesterday, at over 50 years of age, my Tyson went back to the boxing ring. Apparently, he knew he was going to lose that fight because best when the fight now 20 something. You, you be 50 something. You don't get the magic we won't use. The person you're fighting is in his prime. But that fight was more of making money than winning. So Mark Tyson just needs to come back into his financial days where he was a big boy. Do you know that Mike Tyson at a point in his life was very, very rich. Made over $300 million from boxing. And then he went broke. Filed for bankruptcy. Was owing about $23 million as of 2003. And then he picked up again. Do you have an idea how much Mike Tyson made from that fight that he lost yesterday? $20 million. At his old age, he made $20 million from that one fight he lost yesterday. All this on a baby girl here company for Nigeria. How many of them worth $20 million? So let's go through some lessons about Mike Tyson. When Mike Tyson was fighting, it was in money. The money was coming steady. He was wealthy. He wasn't rich, he was wealthy. But you see, Mike Tyson's issue taught us that there's a difference between being wealthy and being financially free. You might have wealth. One mansion, yeah. Luxury cars, yeah. Even at the tiger, he buy tiger. But you see, a mansion is not a real estate investment. And sometimes we try to tell people, but they know they understand. That house you buy with 300 million, where you they stay, is not a real estate investment. As a matter of fact, you are even spending money to maintain the house just because you don't want parents. Mike Tyson had all those. He sold most of his properties to pay debts and fight for bankruptcy. So as you make money, you should understand that your goal is to be financially free, not to be just wealthy. Two, you should know where you are putting your money. Mike Tyson was buying cars for women. Hey, babe, you like the car? Come spend a weekend with me. I go buy a motor for you. I know somebody for a Kedja. 2016. The guess when he buy latest iPhone for for a Kedja. Reach 50 something. Once he like it, go that time say go to that shop with the take the same phone. Tell the seller me send you. And I'll give you brand new iPhone, brand new one. Today is broke. He's been owing me fifty thousand for almost a year now. If you have not secured your financial freedom, leave La La alone. Know where your money is going. Any luxury where you want to spend money on, when you not get times five of an investment, okay, let me not be too harsh on you. When you not get times three of an investment, is a wrong luxury. If you want to buy a car for 20 million, you must have at least 60 million in investment. Not asset to Life investment where they give you money. Now when you buy land, the land they know they give you money. But once you buy a commercial shop in a mall that they pay you rent every year, that one they give you money. You must have times theory of that money in a life investment that will be paying you every year or every month or every day. Times theory. That's how you calculate whether you are enough. You don't be rich to spend that money on luxury. You are worth 40 million, you use 25 million, go to buy motor, you get sense. If they thief that motor this night, you feel buy another one this year. Thirdly, leverage your fame. Leverage your fame. Mike Tyson understood what it means to leverage his fame. Even though he has retired from boxing, 
His name was still powerful. So he opened a cannabis business in the plant he go to sell. Was selling about five hundred thousand dollars every month. He used his name to star in a movie. He got paid. The fact that he's Mike Tyson and I ain't get this product, people go buy him. As Mike Tyson did now, if he do sneakers, like scene where people go buy him because he's Mike Tyson. Leave rage of him. I hear some entertainers sometimes say, hey, "I don't want fame now. Money I get. Are you sure? I want like, are you joking?" Fame is equal to money. The only reason why you have fame and you don't have money is because you are daft. Girl, my senior colleague, when he did Nigeria one time, he had the fame. I told him, I said, bros, let's plan a show. Tell people it's a theater setting. He needed about 10 million. Say, tell people it's a theater setting. Sell tickets for 100,000. If you sell 10 and 1 million, if you sell 110 million, I swear to God, this man had the fame to sell 500 for 50 million, but he didn't believe me. He didn't believe me. So when I started the grow call, I pulled the same start. My last show at Terra Culture, I sold 25 tables of five for five, 500,000 each. That's 12.5 million. I didn't do that show with up to 6 million. So people, they tell me, say, see your regular empty, regular na 30,000. 10 regular na 100,000. One person on the table is 10 regular. I sold off 25 tables, sold out. Leverage your fame. You should know how to leverage your fame. In fact, you should not just leverage your fame, you should be able to leverage your mother and your father's fame. Me, I be Abiola Piki. I don't need my power inheritance. Are you Abiola's son? I know how many people owe my father favor. And I'm not going to go there for, to beg for money. The fact that I'm Abiola's son, they will buy my business ideas. In fact, if I start up something today and people hear it's not your last one, they do one. Because I'll be happy last one, they just believe I know it's how they do. Leverage your fame. And direct your finance properly. Keep relationship intact. There are some boys when they help today. Just the guy need help. I help him. I don't know who it will be tomorrow. That thing when I take help, that guy is something I could have done for free. So I'll do it for you. You are a musician, you want to perform in a show. You call me because I've like performed for this show. Ah! Okay, my call the organizer of the show whether they'll give you slot. I'm doing it for you so that tomorrow in case you blow, you'll be whiskey. Do you remember me? Invest in people. Somebody in no book, you know in no book, you won't buy white from me, no get money. How much is white on at 20,000? You look as oh boy, no man, no man, with a drink 20,000 sometimes now. Let me risk it and invest in this guy. Do it for him. He's a one off. If he start to work for Chevron tomorrow, you go remember somewhere. Even if he's stupid, you go remember saying that this bros buy me my wife from. Even if you know broke you, you can't reach tomorrow. When you celebrate your 60th year birthday, now those people where you invest in, now they go turn up saying he was a good man. He's a good man. But you see, whatever money you make, invest it wisely. Luxuries does not expire. Luxuries does not expire. New new one will come tomorrow. You know, you have the cash late come out. And diversify your investment. Don't put all your money in one place. Some investment should be for things that will keep your capital alive. For example, if you buy land, I keep telling people that land don't appreciate. If you buy land for 10 million 10 years ago, you sold it 120 million today. You didn't make money, you kept your capital. So divide your investment, some keep your capital, put them in things that will keep your capital like properties. Some put them in things that will pay you in interest. Some put them in high return investment. They are quite risky, but put them there. If you had bought Bitcoin when Bitcoin was $10,000, today Bitcoin is hundred, almost $100,000. Bitcoin was $10,000 less than six years ago. It's a high risk investment, but it's worth it. Diversify your investment and be smart about life. Congratulations on your comeback, Mike Tyson. It's always possible for anybody to come back if you think right.